you to Jesus because of who he is. Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you, Jesus. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly shall flow. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly. Out of my belly shall flow. Living 
headquarters. E-I-E-I-A. Rivers of living water. E-I-E-I-A. Rivers of living water. E-I-E-I-A. The devil don't know what you're thinking, what you have in here. God can hear it, my kandebaho. But there comes a time where you got to do it. Open your mouth and speak it. God, I trust you. I can't see it. I can't see it, but I trust you. Ah, I don't know what you're working out for me, but I still trust you, my God, my God. I don't want I don't know what you're working on this behind the scenes, but I still trust you, ah, my God. My God, uh, it may be the midnight hour, but I still trust you. Uh, I can't figure it out, and I'm trying to. My God, uh, but I still trust you. 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 Yeah. Sometimes I may cry a tear. Ah, Rabasaya. Glory to God, but I still trust you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Oh, glory to God. Um, let, me, let me take a couple quick testimonies. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, uh, Felicia, you have a testimony with Felicia over here. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, amen. Amen. Um, for just all he's doing. For, for those out there, can you come here, oh. please? Oh. <laughs> Give out to God and just for all that he's doing in my life, amen. It's just, um, just uh, I took a leap of faith when God gave me um, these books that, that he had put some on my, my spirit to write. I've always been a person who loved to write, do, do the artsy, the art, you know, draw, write. And when God gave me this revelation, I was in deliverance prayer with mom and some of the other, um, you know, yes, Pastor Sam, some of the other members. And, um, and God revealed something to me. He said that um, there were some dusty books on the shelf. It was like some dusty books on the shelf. And then dad was saying that, you know, there's some books in it. This before I even started, even with the writing. I think I started writing it, um, one of my books in 2020. And he said, you know, there's some, some things in you that God wants to release, some books and stuff inside of you, so you need to start writing. Start writing. And then at that time, that was a confirmation that I needed to start writing a book because I just started writing. This was in 2020, and out of nowhere, it was like a post that came across my feed on Facebook saying, hey, join the Children's Book Challenge. I joined the challenge. I wrote the book, and God has been doing so many great things in my life since starting this mm, book amen. and since starting this journey. Mm. And I just... Thank God has given me so many connections. I have my two books out, and God has given me so much. Holy Spirit has downloaded me more and more books. It's like once you start one, God starts revealing, giving you more and more to write. You just can't stop writing. And I just thank God for this, the doorway he's opening for me. There's so many great things that God is doing, and I'm just, I've, it's like God gave me a word back in 2018 when Prophetess Kelly came. He said that there was so much creativity in me that was dormant mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. I would suppress a lot of things that God was doing to me because of fear, feel your failure, low self-esteem, self-confidence, felt like I wasn't good enough. But when God spoke that and said that there was some books in me that need to be written, God gave me assurance at that time that, okay, this is what I'm putting you to do. So I walked with it. I walked by faith and God is doing some, so many connections, so many networks, mm -hmm. things that come into my way. And I'm just looking forward to what God's going to do. And I just want to say that if God places something in your heart, I mean, I, this was in my heart from from birth, from like a elementary, high school, college. I always had a desire in me to write, to really grow, but I, it was just suppressed because the enemy was giving me, they put negative things in my head saying, oh, you're not, you're not good enough, you're this, you're that. But go back and revisit what it is that God placed in your heart to come do on, because if you on. put it in your heart, that it means God wants mm, to use that Zoka. to be an influence to someone. Yeah. Could be the young people, could be women, could be men, whatever your story is, God can use that to be influenced to somebody and not just thank God for just giving me the, the push to do it because there's so many great things that God wants to do. But if we let fear keep us down and feeling like that, you know, it's, it's not worth it. It is worth it because everybody has a purpose on this, on this earth. And it's your job to live out that purpose and your plan that God gave you. That's what you're here for. 
you're not here to that God was, was ministering me this morning. My life is not here to just be whittling, diddling, just like doing life. No, you don't do life. You do what God called you to do. But as you get in his presence that God revealed to me, uh, you know, exactly what my purpose was. It's, I'm 40 some years old in my 40s. And I'm just now living in my purpose. I'm just now walking in it. So it's never, you, even if, you know, 40, 50, 60, it doesn't matter. Just go back and do what God called you to do. Because that's where you're going to be blessed. That's where you're going to get the fruit. Oh that's my God. where you're going to see it. And I just thank God for so much he's done in my life and looking forward for even what he's going to do. Amen. Amen. Somebody, somebody, better, get, somebody better get God some. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I look at this little lady right here that I can never forget this thing. When, she, when, she, when you finished your, your first, first book of po uh, po poetry, mm -hmm. and you said, you know, Pastor Marsha, um, let's meet for lunch. We met in Baltimore. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, that's funny. Um, and you said, let's meet in Baltimore. And we met for, for dinner. Um, and my God, she looked at the fork, and she would give, she would give a, a, um, a poem. And the fork is so like a stork. And it flows uh, like a cork. I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, she was just flowing and flowing. And she looked at somebody's hair and she said, her hair is like a chair. <laughs> she just, uh, she just, she just flowed. I'm like, all of this was here all this time. And I, nobody knew it. Wait a minute. Glory to God. I'm like, I can't believe it. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Come and give a quick testimony. Um. Pastor, where is it? Well, Pastor, actually, uh, Bless the Lord. Actually, when I uh, was born again, over 30, 35, 40 years ago, I was in this church that wasn't a cult. It was what? A cult. A cult of church. Oh. And uh, I was writing then. And so they had the magazine out where you could, it was like a poet contest. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote a poem and sent it to them, Jim Campbell and all of them, and Maya Angelou. They said I came in first place, and they wanted me to come. They were going to televise me, but the pastor wouldn't let me go. And I was just, I was just, and right now I have over, I've been writing for over 30, singing songs, writing songs for over 30 years, haven't published anything. Wow. I have four books ready to go, four books. Have been, the COVID, the Lord did it during the COVID. Right. He said that he make his sheep lie down the green path. Sheep are stupid. You know, they, they, he, he yes. has to work with them yes. to get them to oh, you rest. Better say so. To rest. Mm -hmm. and it was during the COVID. Yes. I, was, I was home a whole year, and that's when the Lord began to have me to write, to yes. start writing. Yes. Yes. But I would say maybe it wasn't the time for me to do it then. Yes. But um, the Lord is moving now. I give him thanks. Yes, I give him is. praise. And like, I can, I can see is. your hair very blear. I can look at your eyes and see why I can, you know. Oh, oh I know. I can point at you, and it's true. Oh, 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 oh. I can look up. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You are there. He's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is in this beautiful lady here, and I didn't even know it. My God. I thank listen. God for you and your prayers. Praise God. You, you really worked to me on the first one. And I, I thank God. I'm, I'm going to be quick, but I thank God, <laughs> Pastor um, um, Marshall, how that the Lord, when I first published the book, first wrote it, I was ready to publish it. And I remember that Saturday you were in the meeting we had, and uh, it was just that book I was giving it to publish, and I let you see it, but that was the leading of the Lord because it was a lot of corrections that needed to be done. And I thank God that it fell into your hands and the writer that was helping me, I don't think they knew a lot about demonic spirits and that way that you and Pastor Sam know and deliverance, and the Lord used you to get that book done. And I give God a praise. Amen. 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 Give God praise, somebody. Give God praise, somebody. Oh, my God. So many gifts and talent in this house. So many gifts and talent in this house. All right. Um, Kelly, did you want to give a testimony? Quick testimony? Okay, because, you know, I just got, I got a quick word. Just, it's going to be real quick. It's not going to be one of those five minutes. You know, Pastor Sam say, give me five minutes, supernatural. <laughs> it's not going to be one of them. It's going to be quick. 
Hi, everyone. Um, okay, so in 2020, 2023, I met Irma on the bus, and she was evangelizing. And um, I'm proud of her, though. Very, very proud to have met her. Um, and she was kind of pressing me, and I didn't like it, because she's very, she's very strong in, like, the Lord. And um, I was kind of iffy about it, because I had hop churches from, like, like when I got saved in like 2020, I think 2021. I went to my um, aunt's church that I had joined the cult after that. We're switching back to my aunt's church and then the cult. And after that, I had been praying, but I already knew, like I had already like knew like in 2022 that God did not want me there because I didn't feel like anything was going on. They had told me previously multiple times, you don't need deliverance, you get the Holy Ghost, you're good, right? I'm like, biblically, that's not true. From what I was reading, it's not true. And I had understanding of like some stuff, like just knowing stuff. And I knew that wasn't true. So there was that, and it's 2024 now. And <clears throat> there was something going on at home. A lot of the times I was very nervous, very anxious, very just not myself. And I was told multiple times that, you know, something's gonna happen to me. They claimed it. I received it. But even though I, even though I did receive it, I also knew that it was gonna happen because, you know, I wasn't. You know, I wasn't just, I wasn't in the, the mindset of where God wanted me. So it was easy to receive it. So now it's 2024. I'm here. This is my home church. I love you guys. I do. Proud to have met you. Um, and so for me, I feel like it's very just, you know, a blessing because 2024, I met Minister Roxanne. Leslie, they're like my close, close people I'm close with. Like my mom, Minister Roxanne, like a mom to me. Mom is a mom to me. And then Leslie, like a sister to me. I'm proud of them. Very happy to have met them. And then, you know, when everything was going on, I kept praying from like the age of seven years old. Get me out, God. I kept saying the same thing. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. It's 2024, I'm 23. I moved, like, just out of emergency. And my mom had a way to me a place to go. And I'm glad because I have a place to go. I get sleep. I get beauty sleep. Beauty rest. I get, I get 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> I get sleep. Even when I don't. I do. <laughs> Let me call Knox. I want to cry right now, cause it's, it's been it's been. I had a prayer like a, a like a prayer that I had a, in a book I had. I don't have it anymore, but I have a pray out of prayer, and that prayer was like I was a seven. God had kept a prayer, and I even told mom this morning about about what what I had been praying about since I was seven. I told her this morning, I'm here. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm here. And God said, don't go back to what he delivered me from it. For me, it's, it's uh, um, I don't want to cry. But <laughs> basically my point is, like, I'm not where I was, where I, where my, I'm not a part of my environment. I'm not a part of my environment. I'm not a victim of my environment. I can get out of it. I can grow. I can move. I can, I can, the other scripture says somewhere in the Bible, I think it's Revelation 12, 11, it says you overcome by the blood of the lamb, but you also got to submit to. So that, that part, it's not in the scripture, but. It's in the Bible, but not in that scripture. My point is, I'm just, I'm happy, I'm glad, I'm okay. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not in a place where I can have, like, something could have gotten worse. God got me out. Immediately the day when I had to go, like, he got me out. Mom helped. People helped. They prayed for me. They prayed with me. They had more faith than I have faith. And that helped because I... That, that, this church is very loving. That was very helpful for me. Like, I did not know how to express that, like, take that in. And so, like, it's a blessing. Last thing, just want to say, praise God. Amen. Love you guys. Hope that y'all are doing well. If you're not, you know, we, we got prayer. We got each other. <laughs> Amen. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 And Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. The sister over here, you have a testimony? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Grace. That's right. Grace. Try to remember your name. Grace. I'm Grace. Uh, my first time of... Uh, is it on? Uh, my first time of uh, attending a service here was last Sunday. So on Sunday, uh, I had my deliverance here in church. 
I was not feeling fine actually. I was having this pain, this sharp pain behind my my neck. Yep. Then later on, when the, uh, Papa was praying, he mentioned there was someone in the church that was having this sharp pain. Mm. But he just he just talked like and just pass it. But he came back. I was like, it's me. Should I get up? Should I go and shout? Because immediately he speaks, I felt uh, this relief. Mm. I turned my neck. I was not feeling the pain. Mm. I was like, okay, what's happening? Sure. My first time, I was not expecting this, but mm. what's really happening? Mm. But then <laughs> something said, like, let me go and see him. I said, ah, you feel me? Oh? I said, no, but let me wait. I turned again. Nothing was happening. I was, I was overwhelmed. Hey. I want to say thank you. Jesus. I had that pain four days before that day. And that day, mm. I never wanted to come to church. Mm. Something was really fooling me. Mm. I said, no, I'm going to go. Mm. Even if I don't have anything to put on, I'm going to go. The yeah. devil is a liar. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. So right. the reason was I, I had something to go back with that day. And I came, I received my deliverance, and I went back home. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. God. Amen. 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 Praise God. She, she didn't expect anything. What I will tell you, hallelujah, is when you come into his presence, truly come into his presence, and I will say this, it's not every church has his presence. Huh? No, she's saying something. What'd you say? <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Uh, there is this song I wanted to sing because uh, it's been long. I attend um, church service. Actually, I'm a Catholic Christian, but I promised Mama the other day I was going to continue here. Mm. Amen. Uh, it's been long. I left Christ, like I can say, but mm -hmm. you know. I started last Sunday, and I promise I'm going to be here. Because Amen. I know, Come on, I know, girl. I know there is something. I know there is something here that is waiting for me, and I'm going to 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 claim it. I'm going to take it. That's right. Yeah, claim it, like girl. Say, yeah. So I wanted to sing this song. <laughs> I know <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Ah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hallelujah. And, 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 and rededicated her life to Christ but she said she has decided what she did in fact is a proclamation what she did in fact is a declaration what she did in fact glory to God hallelujah is say the wall behind me my God and the cross before me oh God I was messing up and I was doing whatever but now I've decided with my whole heart to follow Jesus I ain't turning back I ain't going backwards I ain't going back to the old man hallelujah 
my God, my God, because there's something in him for me. And I claim it, she says, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Grace, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Anne, you have a quick testimony? Good night, church. Good night. Good night. Good night. This is a double testimony. <laughs> so our cleaning team just recently started our prayer line. Okay? We're called the Immaculate Cleaning Team. And so we started our prayer line and pa our minister, <laughs> pastor, minister Stephanie is leading, our, uh, leading us on it. And so uh, the first time we started was about two weeks ago. And it felt like we were having a night with the king. It was so powerful. It was wonderful. It was just wonderful. And so after the prayer line, uh, I think it was the day after or so, or maybe the same night. Yeah, yeah the same night. Gloria's chain, her, she had a bracelet on her arm, and it just fell off. And I said, what? I said, you know what? I said, there's something about that. I don't think you should put it back on. I think you should throw it out. There's something about God's doing a deliverance. And so she threw the bracelet away, and this is, let's just start here. And she can pick it up from there. Amen. Okay. Um, so the bracelet was like a symbolic bracelet that was connected to family. Um, and so it had just broke, like, right after I had got off of the prayer line. And so I asked um, Sister Ann just, you know, because I was curious to what it meant. And, you know, following after that, I had a family member, because my father recently just passed, um, who decided to donate money um, on his behalf. So it just seemed like there was a lot of things that just started rushing in that um, just were blessings at that time. Um, there was just provision provided for me and my sister to be able to go to Africa, like all expenses paid. We didn't have to worry about anything. Um, and then, yeah, just blessings just started opening oh, up wow. after that, Come just on. opportunities. So it just seemed like just from that bracelet um, breaking, it was almost just an opening that God was delivering at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Praise God. The other part of the testimony is... I was driving a truck, you know, I'm, I'm parked and everything, and then I looked down and my braces is broken. I did nothing to it, it's just gone. And Pastor Marshall had called me, and she said, you know what, I believe you are supposed to, I, was, I needed some finances. She goes, you really, I think you're supposed to do this and this and this and this. I said, Pastor Marshall, that's confirmation. <laughs> because I was thinking about doing the same thing. And I got a thousand dollars to was <laughs> my finances. Yes. So you know, praise yes. God. Yes. Brace it broke and we got our deliverance. Yes. Amen. 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 I I I just need to let somebody know that um you're in a you're in a place where all you have is your faith. All you have is faith, and you must trust him. Amen. You got to trust him. Amen, somebody. Can I say that? You got to trust him no matter what. The proof, glory to God, is in the fact that you believe all of his promises. That's the proof. God, I don't see it, but I trust you. I said it before. God, I don't know where it's going to come from, but I trust you. I think that's what Sister Anne said, and God came through for her. Father, I I, I, I've been wanting to get married. I don't see the wife, but I trust you. I, 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 I've been wanting to get married. I don't see the husband, but I trust you. Glory to God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. God, I've been wanting this business. Uh, I don't even understand uh, 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 what you're doing, but I trust you. I know that this business is going to give you glory. I trust you. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I've been uh, believing you for this raise. Uh, my God, increase in my finances. Uh, I don't see where it's coming from in the increase in my finances, uh, but I trust you. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. I trust you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's something, there is something. Pastor Sam and I, and he, told, he said it on Sunday. He said that um, he was telling someone that, I mean, telling the church that God gave us an assignment to be um, up in prayer at 
midnight. Amen. At midnight, we're in prayer for seven. We start at midnight, try to get a little nap, and we're in prayer from midnight, uh, normally to four. Amen. And um, God gave us an amazing revelation. Amazing revelation. Amen, somebody. And I want to tell somebody that when you trust God, Marabazoka, you should not be any, uh, any, you know they say no holes barred? Anybody know what that means? In, in, in other words, whatever God tell you to do, whatever, uh, I, I don't care, I call it a spiritual prescription. Do it. Don't do it and mur murmur like, oh, I want to sleep. No. Get up and sit down. Get yourself together and pray because God is never going to give you any instruction without giving you a breakthrough. He's not going to tell you to do that. Can I get an amen from somebody? Amen. I remember about eight years ago when she got an instruction and the instruction was at mid, no, three o'clock. At 3 a.m. for seven nights, Baraba. Get up and shake your tambourine and give him praise. She could have said, huh, that crazy Pastor Marsha again. She didn't. She set her clock to alarm. I know, hey, <laughs> it's okay. I call myself crazy. Amen. At uh, um, uh, 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 3 a.m., she was up and she was shaking her tambourine. And she would go from room to room. She would go from room to room and she would shake it. Ah, glory to God. And she would shake it and she would give God praise. I don't know, remember which. Whatever night the Lord gives that revelation. No, no, whichever night. Is the third night, the fourth night, the fifth? Because it was for seven nights you had to do that. Yeah, do you, remember, you don't remember what, what night you got the revelation to throw that those things out? Third or fourth night, she had gotten a gift from somebody. But it, the, the things were unclean. Amen? And um, 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 it was, it, there was a spiritual just stuff. Mock. And she's like, where is this coming from? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. And God, she said when she got, she was led to go to that closet where that gift was. And she walked up in the closet and she said there was a force that pushed her back. And she was able to recognize, okay, Lord, I hear you. This is it. This is what brought the calamity in my house. And she said, you said you just threw it out the same night? It's three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. She, she put everything in the bag and took it and throw it out. And from that day, glory to God, the shift, there was a shift, amen? Why? Because uh, I still trust you. Uh, it don't make no sense when I got to get up uh, at 3 o'clock for 7 nights, uh, but I still trust you. Oh, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Matter of fact, Lady K, does she remember Lady K? Oh, she remember. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, hallelujah. When I was in Dubai, Oh, glory to God. The Lord let me to call her on a particular issue. And, and it was, I think it was 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock your time. It was midnight her time. And I forgot what, what, eight hours my time. And every, uh, uh, I think it was, is it once a week or twice? I don't remember. Twice a week. Twice a week. The Lord says, uh, pray with her. Pray with her. Glory to God. But at that time. At the midnight hour. Glory to God. Amen. And glory to God. Hallelujah. And I remember giving a word that I don't care if you see it or if you don't see it. We're going to still pray. We're going to still praise. We're going to still believe God. I don't care because sometimes, oh my, 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 my. It looks like it gets worse before it gets better. I hear nobody say amen. Sometimes uh, it look rack up, shock up, mash up. Uh, glory to God. Uh, but you still got to believe him. Uh, amen, somebody. Sometimes it look crazy. Sometimes it look like it ain't got no. Uh, uh, it, but you still. Got to do it. You got to still believe him. And we talked. Glory to God. And I can't believe it, honey. She, at midnight, ping, at my phone ring. Yes, lady, come in. She's coming in like, listen, listen. Uh, glory to God. God give his assignment. And lo and behold, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. She also give me that phone call. That that which we, my Keboho, was praying for and praising for and thanking God for, it was done. Correct, ma'am? It was done. Glory to God. And it was nothing. It wasn't a small thing. 
it was, huh? It was not a small thing. It was a massive thing. Somebody say, but God. Somebody say, but God. He's a mountain mover. I said, he's a mountain mover. Glory to God. And he did it for her. There is something about the midnight hour. There is something, glory to God, when we go to God in the midnight hour. He's saying, oh my God. Matter of fact, I need to tell somebody, my God. Hmm, thank you, Lord, I hear you. There is something, hallelujah, uh, 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 at the midnight hour, there's a transition. And it, it symbolizes a, 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 a transition. What does it, anybody know what it means? When you transition from one day to the next. There's a transition right there at the midnight hour. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm transitioning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. From this faith, my God, to a greater faith. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all Glory to God, uh, that because my faith over here is not as strong as my faith over here. Glory to God, uh, because my faith is strong, and that's why I'm praising at the midnight hour. That's why I'm praying at the midnight hour. That's why I'm declaring at the midnight hour. That's why I'm warring at the midnight hour. That's why I'm sanctioning some things uh, in the spirit realm at the midnight hour. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. It's a pivotal time when you transition at midnight. And it's the same thing happened to Paul and Silas. Y'all know the message. Y'all know the, the message. Glory to God. I often say, God, why midnight? Why midnight? And midnight, midnight to three, is when demonic forces come out. Midnight, between midnight and three, in that watch, that's when the demonic forces try to attack you. That's when, my God, my God, that's when you got get demonic visitations. Y'all not hearing me. Glory to God. That's when all hell sometimes break loose and the nightmare happen. Glory to God between midnight and, and, and three o'clock. Amen, somebody. And God says uh, that some of you, as a matter of fact, he gave me a word in there. He said, tell somebody, mm, Zoka. he said, tell somebody, my God, uh, that you need to get up. Glory to God at midnight. If that's if you're sleeping or you need to, uh, uh, if you do go to sleep, get up at midnight. Uh, and if you're not sleeping, wait till up. Uh, he says, give him a ridiculous praise. My God, give him a praise. Lord, I still trust you. Somebody give me a tambourine. Lord, I still trust you. My God, I trust you. My God, I trust you. Oh God, I don't see the job, but I trust you. I don't know where the money is coming from, but I trust you. I don't know where the finances are coming from, but I still trust you. Lord, I've been praying for a piece of revelation, but I still trust you. Lord, I've been believing you for deliverance, but I still trust you. Lord, I've been believing you for a breakthrough, but I still trust you. I trust you. I trust you. My God, somebody here. My God, I hear the Lord says the prison bar is about to be open for you. My God. Oh, hallelujah. There's something that you need to do. I don't know what it is. Glory to God. But you got to do it. I don't know who it is, but you got to do it. There's something about the midnight hour, somebody. There's something God is telling me. He's telling me somebody need to do that, uh, that assignment. And when I was over there, my God, my God, I think everybody almost passed out. It was three of us there. And, and, they, and I, because the Holy Spirit hit my spirit so strong, he said, aren't you tired of being tired? He says, well, you got to combat what's been coming against you at the midnight hour. At the midnight hour. Guess where it flows from? I ain't hear nobody. So in fact, if me and him can do it, he gave us, I don't even know what night we're on, how many nights we're on now. I think we're on maybe five, fifth night or sixth. I don't even know how many nights. Just, you just get up and do it. Sixth night. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. So now if we can do it, glory to God. Hallelujah. I just heard the Lord says uh, that he's unfolding some things even for this church. He's unfolding some things. So he says now, even as we can do it, it starts from here. Amen. He says, I need whomever grab a hold of this word at the midnight hour. Oh. 
Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm not telling you something that we ain't doing. My, sometimes we pray. I remember the first night, the second night, we praised him until he, my husband came and said, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I said, me too. <laughs> because we praised and 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 praised. Praise. Glory to God. I said, if it's good for David, it's good for me. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. There's something about the midnight hour, that transitioning time. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's when you transition from one day to the next. That's when you transition. Glory to God. From death to life. That's when you transition. It's transitioning. Matter of fact, I heard the strangest thing. Um, uh, I think it was back in the first of the year. There was a set of twins that was born in two years. One was born before midnight. And the other one was born after midnight. So it's two different years. One in the last year of the year and the first year. And they even wanted the doctors to switch the name. Say it's, it's supposed to be at this time. They said, no. It's what, the t- it's what the time states. One was born in that year and one was born in this year at two different times. Amen, somebody. I believe that God was in that because I believe he was giving the, the message, the parents a message. There are some things that you went through in the old year. Glory to God. Amen. My God. My God. But there is a transitioning moment when you cross over. My God, the midnight hour. Hallelujah. And they cross over and see the gift that I'm giving you. She symbolized the baby symbolized a new gift. My God, that I'm giving you a breakthrough that I'm giving you. Amen. Or she symbolizes uh, the presence of the living God. I'm giving you something. Says the spirit of the living God. Amen. Amen. At the midnight hour. At the midnight hour. Read read quick for me. um, Minister Watson. Acts 16. Why she's getting it. Have you ever been in a situation, my God, that you only you said, God, there's no way you could get me out of this. There's no way. It, it, it's so hard. That's when, that's when the faith is, is shaking out. Faith is shaking out. God, can you get me out of this? Amen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to still trust you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got it? Yes. Verse 16. I'm sorry. Verse 25. Amplify. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said they were singing hymns of praise to God at about midnight. And others were hearing. Amen, somebody. Others were hearing. They were singing. So now, when you sing, you're opening your mouth. When you sing, glory to God, you're ushering in. Oh my God, his presence uh, is the hydrological cycle that's going on. Uh, when the praises goes up, Hallelujah. Somebody need to grab a hold of this revelation and give him that praise. I call it a ridiculous praise. I call it, matter of fact, Sister Anne, where is she? She's one of them. The Lord says that you got it. You got it? Okay, amen. You're one of them that needs to give him that praise. Hallelujah. I call it, my God, my God, a ridiculous praise. Oh, my God, my God. Amen. So at about midnight, they were giving him what? They were singing and and hymns of praise. Read that for me. Uh Uh, Suddenly. It happened suddenly, right? Glory to God. It may be sudden to them, but it's not sudden to God. Why? Because God had already sent his angels. I know that I know, my God, that my children are going to, they're going to trust me, although they're in shackles, my God. They're going to trust me, although they're in chains. They're going to trust me, my God, and say, I'm going to still trust you, although I'm not, I'm restricted. I don't have movement. I can't move this way. I can't move. I'm restricted. My God, I got to sit here, but I still got 
got a voice. I still got a mouth. I still got movement in my, my jaws. So I'm going to praise you no matter what. Amen. So it says, at about midnight, continue for me wherever you were. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, mm -hmm. so the very foundations of the prison were shaken. Mm -hmm. And at once all the doors were opened and everyone's shackles was unfastened. Mm -hmm. When the jailer st startled, started out of, the, of his sleep, saw that the prison doors were open, he drew his sword and was on the point of killing himself mm -hmm. because he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Paul shouted, do not harm yourself, mm -hmm. for we are all here. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Is that 25? Uh, that's, that's, 28. Okay. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I want to tell somebody something. As I was writing down today, the Lord said to me, did you know that David literally shift the atmosphere because of his praise? David shift the atmosphere. David was called to play his harp, my God, and to give God praise. And that brought deliverance not on, only to himself, but it brought God's presence around. Amen, somebody. Amen. David praise shift the atmosphere on his harp. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, somebody. So God is saying your praise connection to God, your praise connection, your praise connection got to be right. It can't be God. I, 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 I praise you. I, I, I praise you. No, that's why I said a ridiculous praise. You have a praise connection to God that will be determined how fast your miracle comes to pass. There's a praise connection, God is saying. Oh, glory to God on this. Amen? God cannot promise you something that he can't deliver. I only hear three amen. Amen, somebody. The proof that you believe his promises is going to be in that praise that you do. I don't know how many of you grab a hold of that challenge, but you all need to do it. Amen. Glory to God. David praised, as I was writing today, he praised God so much uh, that it became his DNA. Hey, Jesus, uh, that even whatever I believe, if he got a piano, he, oh my God, it would have ushered in his spirit, his, uh, God's presence. Uh, I believe if he got a drama, it would have ushered in. I believe that became, that became who he is because all over from Psalms 1, my God, to the end, he was giving God praise. Amen. Glory to God. So God is given an assignment, my God. He's going to unravel some things for somebody. But he's saying, I need you to do your part. Amen? I need you to do your part. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. He's saying to somebody that there's something that's going to be... Whoa. There is something that's going to be broken all for you and from around you once and for all. That is what I'm requiring. Amen. Amen. My God. Your worry cannot change anything, but your praise can change everything. Okay, I heard three amen on that one. Your worry won't change anything, but your praise will change everything. My God, my God. Let me say it for the third time. Your worry won't change anything, but your praise will change everything. Uh, somebody's story is about to change. Uh, somebody's story is about to change. Uh, I don't know who it is, uh, but I grab a hold of it. Oh, glory. I'm grabbing a hold of it myself uh, because your praise is about to change everything. Uh, amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. God says, all I need from you at the midnight hour is a crazy, 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 crazy praise. Please don't do it at 11. You can't cheat on this one. You can't do it at even 10 o'clock at night. Oh, Rabbi Saya. Oh, my, 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 my. He said, I need this at the midnight hour. Amen. My God, my God. Hallelujah. There's something he says. Wow, I just heard the word says that the enemy is a, has been trying to suppress you, but your praise is going to suppress him. Oh. 
your praise is going to suppress him. Glory to God. He won't be able to operate as he used to. He won't be able to do as he used to. Amen. That's exactly what happened to Paul and Silas. Amen, somebody. And you know who they also happened to Jehoshaphat? Second Chronicle 20, uh, uh, 2020 as a close. Verse 20, and they rose early in the morning mm -hmm. and went out into the wilderness of mm -hmm. Tekoa. Okay. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, mm -hmm. Hear me, O Judah, mm -hmm. and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Believe in the Lord your God, mm -hmm. and you shall be established. Mm -hmm. Believe and remain steadfast mm -hmm. to his prophets, mm -hmm. and you shall prosper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me find this thing instruction that was given the ascent from Zimri. Please find that for me. Look for that. Didn't have that in the notes, but he's saying I need that. Because what he did, he told he gave them he gave them instructions. Ah Rabbi Sire. He gave them instruction that led to a breakthrough. But he said I can't do this without doing the instructions. Because you'll get the instruction. Marabazoka. Amen. My God. As I was writing down, I was researching this. Guess what? Did you know that the, 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 the Israelites, do you know when their breakthrough began? Go back in your Bible and read it. At about midnight. They started leaving. They started the exodus from Egypt at about midnight. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Did you find it? The ascent from Zee? It's the same, it's the same scripture it's further up. He says, I remember from, from, from memory, he says, God gave him instruction and go down to the ascents of Z's. And, and there, um, I don't remember the rest of it, but he, he gave specific instruction right there. This is what I want you to do. He says, th there would be no need to fight in this battle. I don't know. Okay, give me one second. Listen, listen, listen. Tomorrow go down to them. Behold, they will come up from the ascent of Z's. Okay. Uh, jump, jump over to King James for me, please. Jump over to the King James and go up one verse. Okay, verse 15. And he said, listen, all of you, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Listen. Mm -hmm. And you, King Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. thus says the Lord Just to says you. Who? The Lord to you. Oh, come on now. Just says who? The Lord. Ah, Jesus. Continue. Do not be afraid mm -hmm. or dismayed because of this great multitude. Mm -hmm. But the battle is not yours, but God's. He says, thus says the Lord to you, mm -hmm. do not be afraid mm -hmm. nor dismayed mm -hmm. because of this great multitude. Mm -hmm. For this battle is not yours, mm -hmm. but God's. Mm -hmm. Glory mm -hmm. to God. For this battle is not yours, but God's. Continue. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow go down against them. They're Tomorrow, this is what I need for you to do. That's the instruction from the belly of God. I need for you to go down against them tomorrow. Uh-huh. Tomorrow go down against them. Uh-huh. They will surely come up by the they're, ascent. They're going to surely come against you. Korabasaya. Glory to God. But they don't know what... Ah, you packing a praise that they ain't ready for. You packing, my God, your faith that they ain't ready for. Glory to God. Because all those army came against Jehoshaphat, one army, and they don't know, my God, who had who had their backs. They don't know who gave them, my God, divine instruction as somebody just got today. Continue. And you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerel. Hold on. You, and, and God says, and the, the army that's going to come against you, you will find them at the brook. Mm -hmm. All right? 
Okay, so I'm giving you now, I'm giving you the layout for you to understand the spiritual territory that you're into. This is going to happen. Go down here. This is where you're going to find them. But don't worry, you ain't got to fight because I notice you, you, you're thinking about it. My God, because it's all these army that's coming against you. I don't need for you to worry. All I need for you to do is follow my instructions. Mm. Wow. Wow. Continue. You will not need to fight in this battle. Uh huh. Position yourselves. Do what? Position yourselves. Do what? Position yourselves. At midnight, God is saying somebody need to position. Marabazoka. Oh, Ruzaka Barando Kozungu Rakataka. He said you can't position yourself with the cover all up under you and tuck in your blanket nice and sweet. Position yourself. Get out the bed. Position yourself. Get out. My God, get away from the bed because the bed going to say come lay down. You want to sleep. Position yourself. Get out. My God, from your comfort zone. Go find a place to stand, to sit, or to lay. And if you realize you're getting too comfortable, get up. Go ahead. You will not need to fight in this battle. Uh-huh. Position yourselves. Again, that, that's how many times he's saying that now? Uh, one, once. Mm-hmm. Oh, position was, yourselves. Okay, no, go ahead. Uh, position yourselves. Stand still mm-hmm. and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. Ah, who is where? With you. Who is with you? Stand still. I'm giving you, my God, the pieces. I'm giving you a prescription to break those forces uh, that's been coming against you. Somebody is even getting a, a little fight on their job. I don't know who it is. Some, there's some, oh, 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 amen. Oh, okay. Pray. God says, huh, you don't understand. There's a whole lot of mickle, mickle, mucka, mucka. There's some talking about you on your job. And God says, this is going to shut it down. Continue. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear Mm -hmm. or be dismayed. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Mm -hmm. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head and with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Ah, I want you to um, 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 jump over to verse, uh, what, what verse is that? 18. Okay, well, just continue. Continue. Okay. Then the Levites of the children of the Kohites and the children of the... All of those people. Whatever. <laughs> stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel uh-huh. with voices loud and high. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's saying, this is not a praise. Like I said, what I, how I got it today when I was over there, it's a ridiculous praise. It's not a... And it's not a sleep praise. Amen. Glory to God. God, he says, I've already, what? Deployed the angels to the ones that's going to, that's going to do this assignment. Amen. You need to do this, 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 this assignment. You need to do this assignment. Praise God. Amen. Uh-huh. Continue. Uh, verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. Mm-hmm. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Mm-hmm. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Mm-hmm. And when he had consulted with the people, he had appointed those who stood to sing to the Lord. Mm-hmm. And who should praise the beauty of holiness mm, glory as to God. they uh, what verse is that? Uh twenty one. Go, go over to Amplified for twenty one for me, please. Okay. When he had consulted with the people, mm-hmm. he appointed singers to sing uh-huh. to the Lord uh-huh. and praise him mm-hmm. in their holy priestly garments mm. as they went out before the army, mm. saying, mm-hmm. Give thanks to the Lord for his mercy. And loving kindness endures forever. Amen. 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 We're still still doing that assignment. And guess what? He didn't tell me and I didn't tell him. But I said, honey, I think we should. He said, oh, my God. 
He said, I got that. We're going to continue more than seven days. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Grab a hold of this. Hallelujah. You don't have to do the entire hours if you got early to do, but at least do an hour. Is that too much? At least do an hour. Glory to God and give God praise. There is something, if she continued that story, by the, the enemy self-destruct. Mm, sent an ambush. Amen? Sent an ambush. The, the, the Lord sent an ambush. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Verse 22, it uh -huh. says, And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, the mm -hmm. Lord set ambushments, whoa, against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, mm -hmm. who had come against Judah, mm -hmm. and they were self, whoa, self-slaughtered. They said that's the amplifier. <laughs> that's the third, that's the amplifier. The King James is self-destruct. Amen. But whatever your problem, your problem is about to when something is self-destruct, it means it's going to die. When something, my God, it means it kills itself. My, 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 my. Glory to God. There are some hard areas in somebody's life. Some hard areas, my God. Some strongholds. Glory to God. There is something, my God. I don't care if it's a breakthrough, bust you've been waiting for. Glory to God. God is about to cause, my God, that same devil, that same demon, my God, that same a, 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 a stronghold to self destruct. It's about to dissipate. It's about to disappear. It's about to leave you alone once and for all. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. And anybody that is it's in the sound of my voice, I don't care if it's out there, that work a nine to five. Glory to God. Praise God, even including you, Lady Corrin. Praise God that, that all those mouths will be shut because when you carry the anointing, when you carry God, somebody ain't going to like you. Somebody going to be jealous of you. Somebody going to have something negative to say about you. Many years ago, I had a, some gray years that I didn't have to have because I would worry about it. It's not you for you to worry about it. It's for you, glory to God, to do what God has said and shut the mouth of the enemy. Amen. 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 I want you to stand to your feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're making a declaration to God. That Lord. If you're going to do it. That Lord you've given me an instruction. Thank you Lord. I just heard the Lord say. That there are some people that are up at midnight anyway. Okay. You, you, okay. You too, you too, you too. Oh, okay. There are some of y'all that's up at midnight anyway. You, I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to break, I'm going to break the English right now. You ain't got no excuse. Oh my God, from 12, no, you don't have any excuse because you're up anyway. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I just need for you open your mouth. I need for y'all the drummers and the uh, the drum and the and, and the um uh, and um the keyboard. Glory to God. I just we're gonna declare some things in the spirit, my God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and what we're gonna declare is God, because I'm trusting you. Uh, because glory to God, I know you're gonna do it. Uh, because I've seen you done it already. I don't even see some of my enemies, uh, but I am going to come up. Oh my God! Uh, in in the spirit realm, I'm going to get up in the spirit realm at midnight. So basically, wow. Wow. I just saw a plane taking off. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That's a breakthrough right there. That's something supernatural right there. I just saw a plane taking off. Somebody's about to take off. I don't know what y'all are. I don't know what it is, but somebody's about to take off with somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So I just need, as we, as we make some declaration, my God, you're declaring what you're going to do and you're declaring, my God, what you're going to see and you're declaring, my God, that you trust him. Amen. Dr. Elizabeth, you got to do this midnight one to yourself. Amen. 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 I need some music. I need some drums. As we, God. And y'all, I need, I give me a strong praise. Give me a strong praise and we're going to be speaking 
We're going to pre- be praying. Amen. I don't, I, I, I need, give me a strong phrase. Strong phrase, strong phrase. Praise the Lord of my soul. I'm gonna praise the Lord of my soul. Okay, I need the rest of you all. Start speaking. Praise you, 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 praise you
Find for me, my Lord God. Oh my, 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 my. This scripture. Uh, 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 Ezekiel. No, not in Ezekiel. Where is it, Lord? Where is it? Is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to me. It's Genesis. It's in Genesis. Amen. I need somebody to find for me. I wrote it down, but no, I can't find it. But that's okay. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. I thought I wrote it down, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. I mean, I did wrote it down. Okay, here it is. Genesis 18, verse 14. Some of the quickest person that can find it for me. Yeah, yeah. Is anything too? Is anything too hard or too wonderful for the Lord? At the appointed time when the season for our delivery comes around, I will return to you and Sarah shall have born a son. Amen. That's all. Is there anything? Is there anything? Is there anything too hard? No. Is there anything? No. I heard that today. Thank God I jotted it down. Glory to God. Genesis. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says... Is there anything, Genesis 18, 14, too hard for him? Do you believe it? I believe it. I don't know. Call me an idiot, a fool, and a, and, a, and, a, and a stupid thing. But God is about to do something marvelous for me. Oh, glory to God. You got to claim your own. He's about to do something amazing. Oh, my God, for me. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the true and living God. Amen. And he says to you, is there anything too hard? He's talking to somebody out there. Sister, he's saying, is there anything too hard for him? Amen. Brother, he's saying, is there anything too hard for him? He's about to deliver. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Hallelujah, Brother John. Can you bring the... Uh... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take off and close. Amen. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I believe um, it's up on the screen. Ways to give. Is there? Sean? It is. Wonderful. Amen. Praise God. Ways to give, guys. Hallelujah. Amen. And I love what Pastor Reggie said some years ago. He says, an aim to ne there's no such thing. There's no such thing. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to give into the anointing. It's time to give. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In this assignment. Hmm. I just heard the Lord say, cycle of breakthroughs. Cycle of breakthrough. It means that you're going to see one and there's going to be another. Hey, hey, hey. And there's going to be another. Hey, glory. To, and it's going to be another. Glory to God. And by the time you give one, one, another one is being brewed. So every Friday or every day, you're going to have a testimony. Hey, glory. Cycle of testimony. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I claim it for myself. I claim it for my family. I claim it for my husband. I claim it for my children. I claim it. I claim it. I claim it. Glory to God for our household. I claim it. My God, even for the members, I claim it. 
cycle of breakthrough with God Almighty. My God, my God, my God, my God. Brother, brother, make sure you do that assignment as well. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Amen. All y'all need to grab it. Just say, when I see a faith in the spirit, all of y'all need to grab a hold of it. Amen. But when I see a faith in the spirit, I speak it. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to grab a hold of this. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. If you could stand with me, please. Hallelujah. Oh God, our, our praise continue. Oh God, our worship continue. Oh God, our adoration continues. As we mark it. Oh God. Yabakora sekehe. Mahene mehe rabahaya. Yurukaba hasekeriha. Mendoho rabahaya. Father, you gave Jehoshaphat instructions. My God, and he they followed it to the letter. My God, you even told them what where, where the enemy was. Ah, my God, my God. Father, so even in their lives, you, you're going to be given revelation as to where the enemy is. Ah, glory to God, because sometimes they could be fighting one battle and God said no that's not where he is. He wants you to think it's over there but it's over here. And I thank you Lord. I thank you God. I thank you Father. That as my God my God. Oh hallelujah. We're giving with every fiber of our being to the one the creator, the one that knows our battles, the one that fight our battles, the one that give instructions, my God, for that same demon that's been coming against us, that same demon that's been inflicting us to self-destruct once and for all. Yeah, my God, I see somebody, my God, they passed out on their bed. I see that uh, they were giving God praise that they didn't take this story, this uh, uh, assignment lightly. And I, I just literally see them like this on their bed. Amen. Glory to God. God is going to even visit some people in this place. In that assignment. Glory to God. Father, thank you. As we give, oh hallelujah, unto you. My God, oh hallelujah. Father, I thank you once again. Because you're simply amazing. We give you glory, praise, and adoration. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Y'all can come forward. Who will, who's giving you me? Come forward. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> amen. Amen. Y'all come to come forward. Okay, you guys. Oh, just, just touch the arm. Yeah, yeah, just touch the. Praise the God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Somebody said on, uh, out there that um, that I was speaking to them, and um, the person said they were awakened two nights in a row, eleven thirty, and they were asking God, "What for? Like, why am I why am I up?" And the word is because you got to start praising at twelve. He was preparing you. Amen. Seven nights. Seven nights. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, I was talking to you. I'm glad you were you're tuned in. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 And you're gonna come in. Mm. Whoa. You're gonna come in. Glory to God. As to what God is gonna do and what He has done. Glory to God. Amen. 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 My God. Father, you're amazing. You're amazing. My God. I even heard financial breakthrough for somebody. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So hands. Father God, we thank you. Give you praise. We thank you for your woman servant of God and how you used her on tonight to minister to us, to give us instructions that we know that came straight from you in the name of Jesus. Father God, we know that it will be a fight, but it's all we already won. We already won. We cover us with the blood of Jesus tonight. Cover our mind, body, souls, and spirit with the blood of Jesus. No accident, no incidents tonight. Going home, 
We give you praise, Father God, on and glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.